Hey, this is Ellie from Alternative Mums Fitness and today I want to give you my top three tips on overcoming emotional eating. So the first one is to really start to realize why you're actually eating. Um, so for me, my main thing that I reach for when I'm emotionally eating is chocolate. I love chocolate. <laughs> uh, and the thing to realize is it's okay to eat chocolate. That's fine. Or whatever your thing may be. That's totally fine. But eating a whole block of chocolate and feeling guilty about it afterwards and not even enjoying it, that isn't fine. It's not fine for me. And it's not something that I wanted to continue doing. So I've used these strategies for myself and for my clients to be able to realize why I was really doing it and uh, to be able to stop doing that, to actually enjoy the chocolate, to have better quality chocolate and to just be able to eat a small amount and take those emotional emotions away from it. So the first thing is to realize why am I really eating? So if you're reaching for a block of chocolate, for example, I'll use that as an example, think about, okay, do I, do I really want this chocolate? Why do I want to eat it? If you want to eat it because you enjoy chocolate and it tastes good and you feel like some, totally fine. Eat the chocolate. If you're doing it because you've just had a fight with your partner and you're feeling emotional and you're stressed out and you just want to eat the whole block, that's emotional eating. If you want to do it because your three-year-old is stressing you out and she keeps asking you a million questions and yelling and screaming and throwing tantrums and you just feel like that chocolate's going to make it all better, that's emotional eating. Um, so really realize why you, why you actually want it. The second thing is to write these feelings down. So grab a piece of paper, write a whole page of stuff about how you're actually feeling. Um, and if you realize then afterwards that you still want that chocolate and you've taken the emotion away from it, then eat some. But if you're eating it still because of those emotions and those feelings, then step three would be to choose a healthier alternative. So uh, do you want to grab it because it's just there and you're really hungry? So instead, maybe choose to make a healthy snack or a healthy meal. Uh, and next time, be more organized with your planning so you've got healthier things on hand and it doesn't get to that stage where you're so hungry that you've just got to grab whatever's there in front of you. Uh, if you're doing it because of stress, what can you do to de-stress? What can you do to relax? Maybe it's going for a walk. Maybe it's soaking in the bath. Maybe it's doing meditation. Uh, if you're doing it because you've just had an argument, maybe then you could do something to take yourself away from that situation, think about your feelings, calm down, and then go back to that person and have a proper conversation. So there's lots of different uh, ways that you can deal with your emotions. It depends on the situation and what the emotion is. But they're my three top tips on over starting to overcome emotional eating. So the first one, again, to recap is realizing what your true feelings are. The second one is then writing it all down and, and digging deeper into it. And the third one is thinking of a healthier alternative. So just remember that there's no good or bad foods. No foods are evil. You can eat your chocolate. Um, but instead of reaching for it because of those emotions and using it as a way to deal with stress or, or whatever emotions you may be feeling, eat it because you want to enjoy it and learn, use these three steps to learn how to take those emotions away from it. Okay, I hope that's helped.